Hey everybody, as promised, I am coming to you live from the Complexions Contemporary Ballet Rehearsal. And we are gonna see some snippets of rehearsal. And then I will be talking with, oh, I had the mask on, several of the dancers. Um, and yeah, it's been a wonderful journey working with Complexions. Um, first, of course, as, hey Sarita, as a dancer myself with Dwight and Desmond, in complexion, I'm not in complexion, I'm so sorry, and I'm Alvin Ailey as partners. I love these guys so much. And I'm actually today, in honor of my, my history with them, hey Marty, I'm wearing, if you can see, sorry, boobs, my 20th anniversary, uh, the 20th anniversary t-shirt from the 2014 season, which is when I first started working with complexions um, administratively. And so it's been a joy to work with them all these years and to just be, you know, longtime friends. I mean, I've known Dwight and Desmond since, oh my God, 1990. And it's just forever friends. They're my brothers. And I'm here in support of their upcoming 27th anniversary season at the Joy starting Tuesday of next week. Um, the dancers look amazing. And they're about to um, do a, an excerpt from Snatchback from the Edges for me. And I'm trying to stay away from the studio because I don't want to get flagged with the music <laughs> with Instagram. So yeah, just um, I'm going to peek in really quickly and see if they're ready. And I'll let you know. Hold on. Okay, they're still working on something. So yeah, so just hang tight. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, also, I will be, uh, breaking news, I will be conducting the post-curtain chat um, on Wednesday, November 17th, uh, for Complexions, I will be interviewing Dwight and Desmond on stage at the Joyce after the performance, and I'm super excited. So, more to come on that. I'll be posting flyers about that, um, hopefully this by this weekend. And, yes, I'm here in Brooklyn on this rainy, gray, beautiful Friday. It is beautiful. And please, 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 uh, links to the tickets are in my bio, so please get your tickets, support this amazing dance company. I'm gonna peek in one more time, let's see. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see. This is the lovely Monica. She <laughs> tell us your tell us your title, Monica. I'm so sorry. I'm the academy manager. And this is your first season with the company. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you for so just being exciting. here for us. Yes, yes. it is. The lovely yes. Monica, beautiful Monica. Yes. Come on, watch our pre-pro dancers. That's on right. The 18th, the gala night. That's They're right. Going to perform together with the company, and we're so excited. Yes, November 18th, Thursday evening gala night. That's at seven o'clock, right? Yes. Seven o'clock, twelve pre-professional dancers. They're beautiful. Grab your tickets, and we'll see you there. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna peek in again while the music's not playing. <laughs> Let's see what we can capture. There's Desmond Richardson, yes! That's Dwight Roden working with Jillian Davis, who I'll talk to in a little bit. Look at the dancers, they're getting ready. Hey, Nasha! The dancers are getting ready, you guys. They look beautiful. Please come out and support this amazing company. Yeah, so welcome to a sneak peek into the world of Complexion's Contemporary Ballet. We're here in Brooklyn rehearsing, getting ready for their upcoming joy season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do your thing, Dwight. It's okay. Do what you need to do. It's okay. There's new company member, Zion Pradier, I believe that's how you say his name, working with the beautiful Larissa Gersky. Okay, I'm gonna step back out because I don't want ID to flag me with the music. So if you guys have any questions, please let us know. Um, 
Yes, we're actually here at the Mark Mar Studios. They're beautiful studios. And yeah, so they have... Um... Hey, Claudia. The season is coming up next week. The season runs from November 16th through the 28th. Uh, at the Joyce in Chelsea. This is their first season back since the pandemic shut down. And yeah, it's very exciting. And I'm so happy and proud to be um, a part of a part of this. So I'm sorry that I keep going in and out of the studio, but you know how Instagram is. They will shut your live down if they even think that the music <laughs> is a copyright infringement. I, I'm, I'm with that. I get it. I get it. So I'm like, go back. Do you guys have any questions about the season, about the company, how you can support? Please let me know. Um, and it's, it's a great thing. It's a wonderful thing that this company has been in existence for so long and that they're, they're surviving. We want to help make sure they keep thriving as a, an important American institution that this company is, Complexions Contemporary Ballet. And do know that they also have, they have an academy as well, Complexions Academy which uh, you can send your, your students to from across the world. And it's definitely a professional situation for the kids. And they learn from the best. They learn from the best of the best. So, um, yeah. So if, if you go to complexions, complexionsdance.org, I believe is the website. Um, and if, Mwadi, if you're watching still, can you just drop into the chat? Um, how they can get tickets for for the gala um yeah so i'm sorry i'm trying to sneak away from the studio because what the music they're using might might get flagged by instagram um so yes i uh you know i want to take a chance let's see what happens listen if i get shut down guys i'll just uh come back on Dancer Clifford Williams, rehearsal master and chief repetiteur for the company, also a complexions star dancer for many years. Of course, there's Desmond Richardson giving notes and guidance to Jillian Davis, the legendary Desmond Richardson. So yes, if you guys can make your way to the Joyce next week and the following week. <laughs> hey, Calvin. <laughs> There's um, really a lot of good seats left for the second week. Um, the first week is getting close to sold out, which is amazing in, in, in this climate that we're in. And so um, I'm just really excited. Um, you know, Dwight and Desmond started Complexions in 1994 when they were still dancers with the Ailey company. And, and again, just historically for, you know, a contemporary ballet company run by two men of color, black men in this country is a big deal. It's still a pretty big deal. It should be a big deal, but it is a big deal. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so we have to support them and, you know, make sure that they can um, stay, stay healthy with the company and we want to keep going on to the 30th season, to the 40th season and beyond, 50th season. Can you imagine a 30th season with complexions? That would be amazing. So we are here actually as well. While I waited to go back in, we are here at the, the um, well-known um, Mark, Morris, Mark Morris Dance Studios. And they've been rehearsing here now for the past few weeks, getting ready. They just came off of... Um, a tour in the Baltic region, Lithuania, and some other cities. And they're actually in Israel, right? Um, in December, I believe. So go to the website, check out the website, and look at their tour dates. Um, all right. Hey, Ian Friday. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to vamp so I don't get flagged with the music. 
because you know Instagram. But this is so great. So guys, Complexions is going to be at the Joyce if you're just joining us next Tuesday, November 16th through November 28th. You can go to the Joyce Joyce.org for tickets. The link is in my bio. The dancers look amazing. This is to this is their first return to New York stage since February of 2020. So this is mega. This is major, kids. They need your support. Okay, I want to give you another peek into the rehearsal. Yes, it's April Watson. So can I see? Can I see the end of this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. Absolutely. Sorry, guys. Hey, Sarita. I can't wait to see you. So I'm sorry, guys. I keep stepping out. But, you know, Instagram is very, very um, prickly when it comes to music rights, as they should be. We have to protect, we have to protect artists' property, intellectual property, and creative property. So, um, yes. So if you're just joining us, thank you very much. Um, the dancers are in rehearsal prepping for the... Um, uh, November season coming up uh, next week, starting on Tuesday. First show is at 7.30 on Tuesday. And um, I'm super excited to be a part of this whole process. And, you know, there's been some challenges, you know, one or two injuries here and there, but, you know, they're making it work. They're making it all work out. And, um, oh, I can't wait to see you, Sarita. I can't wait to see all of you guys. So, again, the link to tickets is in my bio. Um, I'm trying to wait for a little break in rehearsal so that I can maybe talk to one or two of the dancers. Hey, Danny Wilson. Thank you for joining. I'm here in Brooklyn at the Mark Mars Dance Center uh, at rehearsal for Complexions, contemporary ballet who are returning triumphantly <laughs> to the Joyce on November 16th, next week in Chelsea. So the music has stopped. I'm going to keep going in and out. I apologize for that. Um, my favorite memory... 
Uh, are you asking me, Maudi? My favorite memory of working with these two gentlemen was setting frames. Dwight's first ballet on the Ailey Company in 1992. It was a quartet. It was myself, Renee Robinson, Desmond, and Michael Thomas. And it was a fast and furious, sexy, challenging, technical, crazy quartet. And it garnered us you know, amazing reviews. <laughs> And amazing reviews for Dwight. And uh, it just really is, you know, it just set him apart from everything that the company was doing at that time and what people were doing in New York. So I'm going to go back in really quickly so you guys can keep seeing snippets of rehearsal. Okay. Alexander, um, I don't think there's any public footage of frames. Um, Dwight and Desmond swear they have it. They have it on tape somewhere. <laughs> I haven't even seen it. Um, I want to see it. I really want to see it because you know that was back when I was at the height of my all of my abilities <laughs> and probably snatched. Um, so yeah, um, what else can I tell you? So the company has. <laughs> oh, I know. The company, hey, Vincenzo. <laughs> Do you want to come out and talk to me, Vincenzo? <laughs> You're watching. Um, yeah, so the company, um, again, they, they began in 1994. The first show, and I was there for their very first show, was at Symphony Space. Hey, look at me, people. Um, I forget the exact date. I believe it was June 14th, 1994, at Symphony Space. It was sold out a two days packed. Any and everybody was there, um, and it was it was just a place to be. And for the next, you know, 27 years, it has still remained the place to be. You know, you know, it's it's New York is back when Complexions is back. I'm just saying. So, okay. Oh no, there's more music. Um, so again, if you can, please come out and support this company. Um, I'm gonna keep going back in, but. Um, Hi to the kids, Desmond. <laughs> Mask. <laughs> we, are, we are here at Mark Moore Studios in the lovely studios here at Studio C, and we are just so honored that they have uh, allowed us to be here. We're paying it, but, <laughs> but we, it's just glorious studios to be here. Yes. Uh, able to rehearse the movement and get inside of the material. The dancers are really trying to find their way within this new work. Yes. So we look forward to you seeing it soon. Yes. Okay. Now this this section, Desmond, tell us what this section is. This section is called Work It Out. From Snatchback. From Snatchback from the Edges. Okay. Called work It Out. And basically it will start with Thomas and um, Vincenzo. And basically that working out of Thai Trivet. Yes. What does that mean for you? We all have had to work it out through this pandemic within a time of how we push through mm -hmm. with the courage and confidence and perseverance like we all have to do. Yes. That's what we're going with. So there's an intensity, there's a, a velocity that is there, and that's what we're getting to. Amen, so brother. To yes. <laughs> all right, let's peek in. Make sure that you're not doing Yeah, make sure 
sure it, but don't let your arm creep up, okay? It has to be flat. Yeah. Once again, I want to go from the beginning. Five. Yeah. It's about coordinating the moves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Six, seven, and ten. <laughs> Mm. 
well like this because you're flipping it too much um, from the scale. And others, yeah. Can we make it so you actually see it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't use this. <laughs> and actually, you know, on the front, the ships, we don't have that much depth like that, so this is going to come up really quick. So, we're in a minus, you may have to come up with a little bit to catch really right on. Yeah, I'm still working on that. I, 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 I feel like this is this next little transition into where we're going. Thank you. Yeah, let's get it from the list. List will out, please. Yes. So you know what? When I see you coming down, uh, it's not it's not enough guys when you're coming down. Hey Sophia. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I am getting my life right now. This is so filling my soul. Thank you guys for joining. I'm with Complexions Contemporary Ballet, rehearsing for their upcoming Joy season at the November 16th is opening night. Please get your tickets. Support this amazing company. They, they deserve it. Look at these kids, honey. Okay. Oh, you're so welcome, Sophia. Absolutely. I will do anything I can to get the word out about this beautiful company. Absolutely. Thank you, Lukumi. Yeah, so that's what we have to feel. Yeah, so be careful dumping your hooks like this. Look. 
That's coaching, artistry, not just about the steps. guys enjoying this okay I'm gonna give you a little bit more and I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to get one of the dancers to come and chat with me <laughs> hmm? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's okay. I'll step out. So I'm just stepping out because they're about to play some music again. So um, I want to make sure I don't get cut off by <laughs> Instagram gods. Are you guys enjoying this? Oh my god, I'm getting my life, my my spirit, my spirit is so elevated. <laughs> Greg Smith, I'm in these streets. I'm coming to you live from Brooklyn. So. Um, once again, I am here in Brooklyn at the Mark Mar Studios. Okay, yes, background. Wait, let me give you guys a background. Yes. Yes. <laughs> With my complexion's 20th anniversary, 20th anniversary shirt on. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm here in Brooklyn at the Mark Mar Studios. I just had to step away because they were about to start playing some of the music for the, for the performance. And I didn't want to get uh, cut off by the Instagram gods. Um, I believe that's the music of Aloe Black. Oh. So the new work has music by Aloe Black, uh, Shirley Caesar, Ty Tribbett. Um, it's just, it's going to be glorious. Jesse Norman. Okay, the, the great Jesse Norman, who, um, as early dancers, myself, Dwight and Desmond, had the glorious opportunity to meet on tour once um, in Miami. And so um, the company is going to be in season at The Joyce uh, starting November 16th through November 28th. Um, if you're going to be in town, especially around Thanksgiving, please come. Um, we won't have a show Thanksgiving night, but we do have a show Thanksgiving Eve and on that Friday right after. So there are some good tickets left available for those nights. Um, I know people are traveling, but some people are staying and we want to see you all at the theater. So please come if you can. Uh, the company is Complexions Contemporary Ballet. And to buy tickets, you can go to www.joyce.org um, yeah so I'm just gonna hold out until they they stop the uh, stop the music and I may I may leave it here for now because I think you guys have gotten a sense of how amazing this company is and uh, <laughs> Dennis hey cousin Dennis I'm here at rehearsal doing a live stream and just trying to give support to complexions contemporary ballet um, so yeah, so I'll be resharing this after I, uh, after I log out and I'm going to see if I can get one of the dancers to maybe, um, chat with me for a quick second to see how they feel about just coming back to the Joyce. So I'll, let me go peek in and see. Come with me. Mark Mars Studios in Brooklyn. All right, let's see what's going on in there. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please spread the word. We're sharing, sharing, sharing all throughout the season, and it's going to be great. So, hold on. Going back in. <laughs> Not yet. 
Um, so yeah, super excited. Um, actually, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna talk with Monica again from the school. Monica, <laughs> would you mind giving us some more information on the school and how people can uh, become involved? So I'm gonna turn my camera around and Monica can give us more information about the next round of uh, intensives, the academy, and, and what's coming up. Hold on. Yes. Okay. Can you hear me? Can I take you back? Yeah, I think you're okay. Yeah. Let's come over here so we don't get flagged. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, hi. Yes. Um, <laughs> Beautiful so background, right? <laughs> our next uh, intensive is in winter. It's going to be January the 3rd through the 7th. Uh, sorry, 4th through the 7th. Nice. In New York, and we're going to have amazing faculty. Some of the dancers are going to be teaching. Uh, uh, Meg, our uh, academy director, might be also here teaching, and, and other former uh, dancers of the company and faculty of the academy are going to be super stuff. <laughs> So you will have a technique, a Nick class, which is like the official contemporary ballet um, uh, technique of our company yes and um, we're getting into a really amazing place with that so i hope you guys can come and yeah just, like, you know have the experience of a new class which is very complex and mm -hmm. very rich and it's just beautiful um, where will the uh, intensive be held it's going to be held at 434 avenue of the americas oh yeah. okay right in manhattan yeah so Sixth floor, beautiful, huge, huge studio. Nice. Um, so yeah, you'll be in a really nice location. <laughs> and then we are accepting uh, auditions, video submissions, so you can go to our academy website, which is uh, complexionsacademy.com, mm -hmm. and then you can find their educational programs and click their winter intensive. It has mm -hmm. a beautiful photo of candy in a like in a, <laughs> a tilt, and then you can just click there, and then you can like read everything if it ap appeals to you. You mm -hmm. can do a registration process, and then send us your video, and we will get back to you. Nice. Um, you will also have a possibility of a point add-on. So after Nick and then Rev, you'll have a little break, and then you can have like a point. To rep mm -hmm. add-on so you can learn all the point rep of the company nice especially for the ladies but men are <laughs> to also try it exactly and yeah we're very excited so and what hey tony blackman oh um, yeah. yeah what me no, I'll be, can i grab somebody like melissa or somebody uh, where was okay I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Monica. Oh, Please tell us also really quickly um, what is the level the dancers should be at? Should they be already taking class at some level, right? Yes, yes. It would be really nice to have like a more intermediate um, mm -hmm. towards advanced mm -hmm. class as the um, students. Yeah. We will have potentially two groups so that if you don't feel so strong, mm -hmm. you can still have a place to like mm -hmm. learn and just figure out our style. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have summer programs which are we're cooking uh, all those dates and mm -hmm. all the places but we're definitely obviously going to be in new york in los angeles we're going to be um at uh, usc mm -hmm. so it's like really beautiful mm -hmm. studios and location we're mm -hmm. going to be in dallas yes detroit and we're seeing maybe florida oh nice maybe colorado okay so, yeah awesome so, well thank you yeah. for that I'm, I'm going to see if I can grab one of the dancers yeah. and then I'll let you all also, go. Yeah. Let me tell you one more thing. Yeah, of course. Me. We have our Instagram also. Oh. So it's at CCB Academy. Mm -hmm. Very easy. But yes. You can just also pop in there and see if yeah. something you might want to research. Or awesome. Research. I'll make sure I tag all of this when I share the video. Absolutely. Right. Thank you, Monica. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> yes. So that is Monica, who heads the academy, and now <laughs> I got my girl Larissa. Wait a minute, let me turn the camera around so I get that body, honey. Let me get the body. <laughs> I'm gonna give her a quick hug. Oh, so I have the camera turned around because I want to make sure we keep a safe distance while we're while we're talking. Do you want to sit? Do you want to stand? What do you want to do? Uh, I'm good. Okay. I'm good to so this is Larissa Garski. Nice she is a Canadian, American, a Canadian. We're just. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's right. That's right. And from what city? Remind me. Ottawa, Ontario. That's right. Beautiful. And this is your seventh season? This or is my sixth season. Sixth season. I do because I was working. We somehow made it into the 
Yes, yeah, yeah. beautiful. So just, I know you guys have been on tour, but this is your first New York, well, outside of the summer stage. Right. Quick excerpt you guys yeah. did for me, for my summer stage show, which was brilliant. But this is the full season back, first time since the shutdown of the pandemic and everything else. So just really quickly, because I know you're taking a break. I just want to know what this means to you to be back in New York like this and all the new works. It's, and- yeah, super profound, especially because, you know, we have been waiting for two years to be able to have our lives back and have new yes. purpose in our lives and you know complexions is just one of those companies that really like takes your heart soul and humanity um and puts it on stage and i, I definitely miss the feeling of just being exhausted <laughs> by, the end, by the end um just like using your body to its limits and all that and yes and moreover just bringing relevant work like making ballet super relevant and telling mm-hmm. stories that are pregnant to this now moment. absolutely so I'm really excited to be next snatch back from the edges because yeah Yes. An emotional experience for everybody involved, not just us, but the audience as well. And yes. I hope y'all are really pumped to see it. <laughs> it's super That's and gonna be great. Thank you for everything. Oh. That you did, like, promote us and, yes. And, like, the people that come. Absolutely, um, they're coming. They're coming. You guys gotta come see this glory. All these beautiful dancers. It's gonna be great. So go take your break. And I've been working hard all morning. I don't want to hold you up. So I love you, and I will be out there screaming every night, every I night. Love, <laughs> love you. Yeah, I love the fam. <laughs> Okay, let me see if I can grab. Ah, my baby boy. Wait a minute. Please. Sorry. Oh my God. So, do you want to sit down? Do you want to do the wall? What you want to do, boo? You all love alive. Let's give you like two, three minutes. Give you some wall. So, this is Mr. Brandon Gray, honey. His mama come. I love. First of all, I love your mother, Mr. Ned, honey. Oh, she loves you too. The kids are coming. <laughs> Well, I will make sure I share it. Make sure I share it with her. So this is Brandon Gray. What? What? Um, Baltimore? Wait, where are you? I'm so, originally from Maryland. Silver Maryland. Springs. Okay. Okay. Silver Springs. And yeah. this is what year for you? What? This is my fifth. Season. Your fifth season. Yeah. So just I know you t- on your quick break, and I don't want to hold you up. I want you get your water, your food, your rest. Just tell us what coming back to. New York stage. I mean, you performed like Larissa for my summer mm-hmm. stage show this past summer. It was amazing. I was so happy to have you guys there. But just tell us what this season coming back means to you in this moment. Um, for me, like over quarantine, I really had a lot of time to like sit with myself and like really think about what I want as an artist and, and what I want to bring back to the studio when I come back. Mm-hmm. And I think I've had a different kind of focus in rehearsal that I've never really had before. Mm. Like as far as like partnering, as far as like working with, you know, my fellow co-workers and things like that. And I'm really mm-hmm. excited to show that to everybody. Yes. Kind of like this new profound person that I've become. Yes. A little bit more humble. And I love it. Crazy. Yes. But, you know, trying to bring, trying to go to that next level. Yes. And bring everybody with me. Yes. So I'm really excited to show everybody this yes. new thing that I've been working on. Oh, I love. Well, you look beautiful from oh, the, the video. You, you know, I love you, baby. Don't I love you. Oh, thank you. you oh, thank you. Love you too. You yes, we of course. Really, really need it, and we love it, and. Of no, course. Here for you. I know. So you know get your rest. I want to watch a little bit more rehearsal. I want to talk with Jillian. And I love you. I can't wait to see you on stage next week. Love yes. You. Everybody come out. Yes, come, come down. 16 to the 28th. That's right. Yeah. Woo woo. Thank you, baby. I love you so much. We'll talk later. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. One more. I got my girl Jillian. Wait. Quick hot. <laughs> No, I'm all sweaty. Oh, I love it. So this is the amazing, gorgeous, glorious Jillian Davis. And just thank you for taking this quick moment. I know you're about to take your break. But just please tell us where, you, where you're hail from, what season this is for you, and just um, what this all means to you. And I'm, I mean, I'm getting emotional just thinking about <laughs> two. I mean, I'm, you all know me. I'm a cry baby. I know. But just, yeah, tell us what this all means for you. I mean, you guys have been performing. You just came back from overseas. You're going back overseas in December. But this is New York. This is home. Yes. This is the best stage. Um, so, hi. I'm from Kutztown, Pennsylvania. A very small uh, little town. Um, this is, I don't even know. I joined in 2014. So, I think it's my seventh. Seven, month. yes. Uh, so, yeah. There's a lot of history on that stage. Um, it's always nerve-wracking to go back. But it's the best feeling ever to accomplish the season to dance for our New York family and I, I absolutely cannot wait. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing like it. Yes. Like, traveling overseas it was great but nothing like New York. 
And you know, I feel like um, the city just reopened to international travel, yes. right? So we're hoping that people grab some tickets to fly over to see you guys. We have a huge international audience, so I'm hoping that some people can make it over for this. This is a, this is a major mega moment, I think, for the company to come back. Tickets are flying, so guys, please. These values are iconic right now, so. Yeah, so name for us the, 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 the rep that's being performed. So Love Rocks, which is our Lenny Kravitz Ballet. Yes. 2020 uh, is coming back for both weeks and that means uh, we have Snatchback from the Edges, which is pulling from material that we made during quarantine mm -hmm. as well as yeah. stepping forward into the world that we have right now, mm -hmm. post-COVID, yeah. and post-COVID. Yeah. Um, and we're also bringing back uh, Trudy Medley Deeply, which has some excerpts from various ballets, including Bach 25, um, Elegies, <laughs> and Elegies. <laughs> That's your solo, yeah? Solo. Awesome. Uh, Wonder Cross coming back with, with Brandon Gray. And then also snatchback excerpts are in that. So oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, oh, that's good to know. So if people can't make it the first week, they'll still be able to see some of they'll snatchback some in the second week. Season. That's really good to know. Yes, thank you for that. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically our program. Okay. Um, it's condensed this year, but okay. it's also really, really, really special. Well, I think special. condensed is good because audiences are just coming back. So I think just a two-act programs is enough for now. It, it, um, they're yeah. very potent. Yes, so. yes, Marty, she is doing her solo elegy, so thank you for that. So let's, let's get in get some rest, and we will see her next week. Thank you for stopping and talking to me. <laughs> All right, see you next week. Love you. Thank you. Yay. You going to be here? Oh, yes. Okay, wait, and this is Clifford. Hey, y'all. Hello, everyone. My crazy Clifford. I love me some Clifford Williams. Y'all know I love me some him. So I'm going to hang out. Yes, You're I'm going to be here. I'm going to hang out for a little bit more, but I wanted to let you guys go. This has been wonderful. Are there are the D's still in the room? Brandon's here. And if you want to I did. I got Brandon. Okay. <laughs> are Dwight and Devin still in the room? Desmond's um, there. Okay, let me say a quick thing. Let me, say, let me get quick with Desmond. I'll be here. I'll be here. So that's my Clifford Williams, honey. I just love him. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so we're going to leave it there because there's a conversation going on. But all good. We've, we've gotten plenty. This was great. A full, almost a full hour with complexions and rehearsal for, before their big return to the Joyce. Yeah. They, right? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will be sharing this, posting it, and more. <laughs> Thank you guys. And again, please support the company. And I will be there every single show. Um, welcoming our VIPs. Oh, thank you, Sarita. And all of our press that's coming out, courtesy of Sin Gogolak and her PR company. And thanks to Mark Marr Studios for allowing this to happen and for opening their studios to this amazing company. So don't forget, Joyce.org. You can get your tickets online, over the phone, or in person at the box office. If you're a student, we have student tickets available one per ID for $30. So if you're a student and you only have a little bit of money, you can still come. Okay, we're making it available for as much as we can for everyone. Um, there's group rates available as well uh, for 10 and above. You can get a group rate on tickets. And I think that's everything. So thank you for watching. We will see you next week in the theater for the return of Complexions Contemporary Ballet. I love you guys. Oh, and next Friday, I will be interviewing a former fellow Ailey dancer, um, Dwayne Cyrus, as he's embarking on his new role as an arts curator, like a visual arts curator. Um, so keep eyes out for that. That'll be next Friday, um, I think, at, um, 5 to 5.30 or something like that. But anyway, keep your eyes peeled for that. So love you guys, and thanks for watching, and I will see you at the Joyce. Bye.